Hello, how are you?、Uh, shall we study Bible together?、Um, last week was uh, uh, Easter Sunday.、Uh, last Sunday was Easter Sunday, and um, um, I gave an、uh, Easter message. And、um, today's uh, uh, title is uh, uh, Jesus' Death and the Resurrection.、Uh, when we talk about Easter,、uh, that is a day that、uh, we cere- celebrate、uh, his resurrection. But for him to resurrect, he had to die first. <laughs> so、uh, let's take a look at his death and、uh, resurrection at the same time.、Uh, the Bible we're going to take a look at is from Matthew chapter 26,、uh, verse 25,、uh, 35, I'm sorry.、Uh, Matthew chapter 26, start from verse 35.、Uh, I read in the NIV.、Uh, let me read、uh, Matthew 26, verse 35. 35. But Peter declares, Even if I had to die with you, I would never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Then Jesus went up,、uh, Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter. And the two sons of Zebedee along with him. And he began to be、uh, sorrowful and troubled. Now,、uh, the time Jesus,、uh, the, uh, be- right before he、uh, had to、uh, go on the cross uh, in uh, Jerusalem, uh, he had the Last Supper with his disciples. And at the、uh, Last Supper, uh, he indicated that、uh, his disciples. Uh, will betray him, and、uh, especially to the Peter, he said that、uh, you will betray me three times before the crowd will、uh, cry. And uh, uh, Peter just couldn't believe that what Jesus said. And Peter said, Oh, no way, I'm not gonna、uh, disown you.、Uh, you know, I mean,、uh, even, even here, the verse 35 says, Even I died, I will follow you. And、uh, So, Peter, and then also, it's not only Peter, but all other disciples say the same. That verse 35 indicates. So, all the disciples, they are very confident that they can follow Jesus, and they're telling Jesus, hey, even if we die, we follow you. And, uh, uh, but then, Jesus, on the other hand, felt really, really uh, 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 sorrowful. He was so sad and、uh, fearful otherwise. And Jesus、uh, went to the place called、uh, Gethsemane. The Gethsemane, Gethsemane is a place inside of the、uh, Olive uh, Mountains, uh, the, the Mount of Olive, and that's where the bunch of uh, olives, uh, olive trees are there. And the Gethsemane means that,、uh, the, the, the olive、uh, oil press. So、uh, this is the place they, they gather the、uh, olives and then they're going to compress and then they will、uh, squeeze the olives and get the、uh, oil. Out of it. So, this is a place to go squeeze that、uh, really feeling that、uh, Jesus' feeling has been squeezed. But anyway, he chose this location. Probably this was a kind of、uh, very quiet location. And Jesus usually g o there、uh, by himself to pray, but this time、uh, he asked his disciples to come with him.、Uh, this is very interesting that,、uh, you know. Disciple was very confident about following Jesus, but Jesus is not. He was so, felt so lonely. So G- Jesus was very much depending on, instead of our confidence, Jesus was so depending on God, and naturally, because of a dependence to the God's uh, uh, Father, uh, Jesus went to pray, and、uh, he also asked disciple to、uh, be with him at the time of his trouble.、Uh, Now, sometimes when the people face difficulty,、uh, you know, sadness or sorrow, and some people really suffering, some people try to do that by all the, themselves. They, they, don't, they don't share their suffering to others. And uh, uh, some people suffer themselves, and some people just couldn't handle, and some of them even do suicides. But、uh, I would suggest if you're sad, if you're really facing a trouble,、uh, That's what the、uh, brother and sister f o r that you should share with them.、Uh, the, in the、uh, book of Proverbs、uh, 17 17, you don't have to open this, but、uh, if you do, that's fine. I, I'm going to read the Proverbs 17 17. It said, 
a friend loves at all times. And a brother is born for a time of uh, adversity. So the brother was time, uh, born for time for difficulties and trouble. And uh, uh, we have called the brothers and sisters each other at the church. But quite often, uh, many church, uh, we don't really, how I say, uh, even though we call them brother, you know, so-and-so, a sister, so-and-so, but um, we don't treat them like a brother and sisters. Uh, with time of our trouble, instead of uh, sharing the, our weakness, quite often the, we try to suffer, uh, we try to solve a problem by ourselves, and that is, uh, I, I think that is really similar to the uh, disciple. You, we are way too confident in our life. Uh, the Bible is quite a, a reverse. Uh, as a fact, the Bible indicates that uh, we shouldn't be confident in our own strengths. We should trust on God's strength, and uh, uh, we should really uh, trust Him to take care of our issue. And definitely, the time of trouble, uh, the, even Jesus asked His disciple to be with Him. And uh, I think we should do the same. We should ask our brother and sister of the church to be with us at uh, the time of trouble. Uh, Let's continue to read from the verse 38. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. Now here's interesting that Jesus is totally uh, devastated. So he was in a deep sorrow. Uh, it's, it's the Bible says it's the point of the, his death. I mean, he, he's so sorrowful. Uh, he's so sad. And uh, then he asked his bro uh, 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 friends, that his disciple, to keep watching with him. But then, uh, uh, as you know, this story, the uh, disciple actually went to sleep later on. They couldn't keep watch him. Uh, disciple at least could pray for uh, Jesus at the same time. Jesus asked disciple, please watch, him, uh, watch me, uh, watch, him, watch my sorrow and sadness, and uh, just stay awake with me. But instead, uh, disciple, you know, they're so confident, they're so, you know, uh, in a moment, just minutes ago, they say, oh, we're not gonna uh, disown you. Uh, but then they, they basically, uh, they're so confident, but they just couldn't do it. And uh, Jesus said, uh, you know, and Jesus himself was very devastated. He prayed, he, he put his face down to the ground and prayed to God because he's totally dependent on the Father to uh, 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 help him go through this difficulty. Especially, uh, Jesus indicated that, uh, please remove the cup from me. Now, what does this cup mean? Uh, if you read in a verse, uh, same, uh, uh, same chapter 26 in the Matthew, the verse 27, 28, uh, Jesus said to his disciple at the Last Supper, he said, Then he took a cup and, uh, and when he was, when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Uh, basically, this cup uh, that Jesus used it as uh, indication that is uh, his blood, and uh, 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 you know he used the uh, the, the the wine as a grape uh, uh, drink, as uh, his blood. Uh, now, the, when you look at the uh, Old Testament, at the time of uh, uh, Exodus, the, uh, and a Passover feast, that you have to, you will sacrifice the, uh, uh, the one-year-old blameless uh, 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 lamb, uh, and then the you know, uh, uh, baby sheep, I mean, and then you kill kill that sheep, and you get the blood from the sheep in a little cup, and then uh, you will paint uh, in a 
top and the bottom of the door and the, the left and right of the door, which means shape of a cross. And uh, uh, whenever the, well, whichever the house uh, painted the, with the dead lamb's uh, 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 blood, the death passed over, and the people inside didn't die. Uh, but uh, the 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 house without the blood of the lamb, uh, the inside the firstborn people uh, people the firstborn uh, they 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 died, and uh, this is the meaning of the uh, the the blood of the sheep is actually used as the uh, the death Passover, so people don't have to die, and uh, but the the sheep have to be uh, sacrificed. So the exchange with uh, uh, the lamb's uh, life, uh, we gain the life. Basically, uh, Jesus in using that uh, 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 the cup that where the, his blood was corrected, and then uh, his blood gonna purif purify us and allow us to pass over the death. So this is a really uh, some of. People say this is uh, the God's wrath. Is indicate that the, this blood of the cup, and um, the all the God uh, supposed to be punishment to the our uh, our sin. Uh, the He put that to the Jesus, and then uh, uh, Jesus died uh, instead of uh, we should die, and uh, He became like a sacrifice, ultimate sacrifice for our sin. So basically, that's what the Jesus probably meant that when he said, uh, you know, but he, he said, please remove this cup from me, but not my will, but your will. Um, the time Jesus was suffering so much, especially he was suffering about facing the death, and, uh, uh, you know, he, Jesus really depended on Father God that, uh, to save him. And, uh, meanwhile, disciples are sleeping. Now, let's continue to read this at uh, verse 40. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't, couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Now, uh, when Jesus came back, the disciple, uh, you know, despite so many times Jesus asked, you know, I'm so sad, I so, I'm, I'm, you know, please awake, wake with, I'm just please watching uh, with me. And at least asking, you know, uh, disciple to pray with him. But disciple just went to sleep. And uh, Jesus said, you know, uh, your spirit is will willing, but the flesh is weak. Uh, usually, if we are in a Jesus position, uh, we probably would say, hey, you probably don't like to do it, or like, uh, you probably don't have a guts to do it, or like, uh, you really don't, want, you really didn't want to, uh, do that from the beginning with, or something like that, which usually question about that person's, uh, the willingness or motives, uh, instead of, uh, 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 you know, their weakness in the flesh, we usually question about, you didn't want to do it. You, we, we question the people's will part, willpower. But Jesus said that, uh, even you, you, you have a will to do it. Uh, the flesh is weak. Um, see that the disciple was so confident about, uh, they can follow Jesus. And, uh, disciple was so willing to follow Jesus. And, uh, but yet, uh, uh, basically they betray Jesus by sleeping here. And because their flesh is weak. Uh, we have to understand, even you become a Christian, uh, the, our flesh is not, uh, not really depend, uh, 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 you know, not really saved yet. What I mean is our flesh is still, uh, uh, inherited uh, from our parents, which means our flesh is still belong to, uh, Adam and Eve's flesh. Uh, our flesh, our body is still under the sin. So, uh, the Satan can influence us and uh, easily, uh, even though as a Christian that we have a, uh, we have a will, strong will to do right, but the, our flesh is very easily kind of uh, tempt us. And, uh, uh, even Christian can sin. 
and uh, because of our flesh, it still belongs to a sinful world. Um, that's why uh, Christian death is not really death. This Christian death, uh, a funeral, is a day that we we remove our old tent uh, or uh, old, old flesh, and then we go to the heaven, and eventually we receive the glorified body. So right now, the Jesus is pointed out. You may be willing, just like a disciple was, and uh, but then the, uh, the but flesh is weak. So he said, keep praying. Uh, instead of uh, be too confident about over your own strengths, Jesus said, uh, watch and pray, so that uh, you will not fall into the temptation. But you know, quite often we don't even pray, and we don't even uh, think that way. We think we can do it, you know, but. You know, quite often we will miserably failed uh, because of overconfidence. Now let's read and uh, uh, continue to read this. And what happened after this? In the verse 42, he went away a second time and prayed, "My Father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done." Then he came back. He began and found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same things. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come, and the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Now, uh, when we talk about uh, betrayer, the, most of us naturally believe that uh, the Judas Iscariot, that he's the only one betrayed Jesus. But the fact is, the Bible revealed to us his all twelve disciples basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, betrayed Jesus, and uh, Peter denies three times about Jesus. So, the fact is, uh, you know, overconfidence that we we can follow Jesus, and uh, some Christians are like that. Some Christians think when you become a Christian, especially the baby Christian, uh, the person who just become a Christian, they they are so uh, uh, eager to follow Jesus. They thought, okay, from now on, I become a Christian. I will I I will live in a clean life. I'm gonna live in a holy life, and I will I will uh, you know spend the rest of my life for Jesus, and uh, I will you know proclaim the gospel to others. And uh, people very, bar uh, how I say, born with a willingness to follow Jesus, but yet, uh, more confidence that person is, the fact is, the person miserably failed because they forgot the most important part is uh, uh, the Bible revealed to us is uh, not our strengths that we can really uh, 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 follow Jesus. It is uh, our weakness and our humbleness, that we dependency to God, that will, uh, with the God's strength, we can go through the difficulty, and definitely that means that we will depend on Him, and naturally we're going to pray to Him, and through the prayer, that, and uh, through the uh, grace of God, and uh, with the power of the Holy Spirit, that we can go through the difficulty, and we can glorify God through that, uh, so it's not our confidence or it's not our strengths that we can uh, glorify Him. But p quite often, if we Christians forget. Definitely disciple here, they didn't see that point. Even though Jesus, in the desperation, He asked disciples to be with Him, and Jesus asked them to uh, keep awake, but they are not. And uh, um, now, this is, uh, uh, you know, this is a reminder for us at the church that um, we never know that when Jesus comes back and uh, some church is sleeping and some church is only thinking about uh, their own confidence and strength, uh, we have to be really careful about this. Uh, let me read from Matthew chapter 24, uh, verse 42 and 44. Uh, this is the Matthew chapter 24. Uh, you don't have to open, but if you do, that's fine. Uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 42 said, Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of the night the thief was coming, 
he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be uh, broken into. So you also must be ready, because the sound man will come at the hour when you do not know, uh, you do not uh, expect him. This is actually the uh, uh, warning to church that when we don't watch Jesus' death and the resurrection, uh, and uh, if we don't depend on Jesus and God and His uh, uh, strength, uh, if we are depend on our own strengths, that's the same as we don't watch Him. We just keep watching us. See, most of us uh, in the Christian life, uh, we go to church, and uh, the reason we go to church is uh, uh, the they want to uh, minister to entertain Him, them, and then uh, listen to the wonderful message from minister. And quite often, as soon as they get back home, they forget what the minister said, but. Uh, they go back to their original life, uh, you know, very confident, self, self, self-confidence life. And uh, most of us say, oh, we can do it, we can do it. And uh, the main focus is how to be more wealthier, how we can make basically more money. And uh, uh, we depend on money, uh, wealth, rather than God. And uh, also, as people get old, uh, people start to realize their uh, bodies not anymore can do the when they're uh, uh, the same thing they could have done when they're young. Their body become weaker and weaker, and anything you do become painful, and uh, you don't want to do it because your body you, you you have a willingness to walk maybe ten miles, but you cannot do that anymore. Uh, your body is very tired. Like I have a uh, you know my my mother she's eighty eight years old. And now she's telling me that she don't want to even go to the bathroom. Uh, she cannot walk to the bathroom anymore. And uh, she said, even go to the bathroom. Man, go to the bathroom is hard. If that, that is, that's, that's how you become. Like when you become old, uh, the basic necessity of the life will become difficult. And um, uh, but so the, our main focus is our life, how to live this cross the what uh, life how we can do our own strengths to live but the bible revealed to us that's not the way uh god wants us to live god wants us to watch uh watch jesus and the focus on his death and the resurrection but instead we we act like a sleeping like a disciple because we're so confident that we can do it but yet the fact the uh, a disciple was sleeping, and um, uh, and especially uh, when talking about the resurrection, uh, that we really have to uh, appreciate the God's resurrection. Because think about this, uh, you know, some people uh, argue that maybe resurrection is a man-made story. Some people say, oh. The disciple must took his body and the disciple lied. And uh, some people say, oh, all the New Testament is uh, written later by church. And uh, Jesus died on the cross, but disciple hide his body somewhere and they made it up the story of the resurrection. And uh, uh, that's how the Christianity started. Some people argue like that. but. They, but, but logically, that doesn't make any sense because for disciples, they have absolutely no reason to make this uh, uh, lie story. Uh, especially, they had to spare their life. Uh, all 12 disciples, they die in a horrendous uh, uh, martyr. Uh, they, they die like a terrible death. The, uh, Peter crucified upside down and uh, Thomas was uh, skinned. Can you imagine skin and death? Uh, they didn't have to go through for life like that. And not only that, there's absolutely no reason for uh, disciples to make Jesus divine and uh, or no even Messiah, uh, uh, Messiah, uh, uh, Savior. They, but Jesus, I mean, after Jesus uh, uh, crucified and resurrected. They all say he resurrected, and then they all changed their life so much, and they all claim that Jesus, uh, 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 divin uh, he, they all claim Jesus is the Savior and the Messiah that we have waited, and uh, the uh, Jesus is God. So 
that is a very tremendous change happens in the disciples' life. So naturally, that is a historical fact. We cannot really deny that part. So it is naturally the uh, resurrection should, should have happened. And also, uh, I can sometimes think about why people cannot believe the resurrection could happen. Because God is the only one can give the life. Even now, He does. Think about it. The uh, little tiny cell uh, become big baby. And uh, inside the mother's womb, and almost every day, or well, every day, uh, there's a new uh, 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 baby is born at the hospital. Where, where the baby from? I mean, babies are from. You think about this. I mean, uh, the the only God can give the life. Uh, every spring, uh, especially right now in Japan, is all the cherry uh, blossom. It's beautiful right now in Japan. And um, uh, but you know, the cherry tree during the winter it look kind of dead. But in the spring, every spring, the, those cherry tree had a beautiful blossom, and uh, also the uh, for you know like uh, some some of the flowers start blooming like a tulip. This is the season the uh, tulip start to bloom. Uh, case of like a tulip, for example, <coughs> you start from the uh, bulb. You 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 plant the bulb, and uh, during the winter, the bulb uh, look like dead, like a uh, you know uh, it, it really deteriorate in the ground, and then. In the spring, however, it's not really dead. The spring God made that uh, little tiny seed or a uh, bulb to um, multiply like a hundred times, uh, and they have a, a beautiful flower bloom. Uh, we have seen that every year we see the power and act of God for giving the new life to uh, nature and uh, to us. Uh, the, the, how we can uh, believe that God can do that? To us, God can give us new life, and um, <laughs> and as a, so, if that is a fact, uh, believing Jesus' uh, resurrection is a very very big issue, because by believing that Jesus' death and His resurrection will give us the eternal life, uh, let me read the John chapter six, uh, verse 20, 39 and forty. Uh, if you do, you can open. You, you don't have to open, but you can open it. But John chapter 6, uh, verse 39. Let me read. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of the, uh, uh, I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but uh, raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone, everyone who looks to the Son, and believes in him shall have eternal life and I will rise them up at the last day so here's clearly the uh, John said whoever look at the Son and believe uh, God have eternal life and that's a will of uh, Father God uh, Jesus said watch me as I'm suffering uh, questions are are you watching Jesus are you looking at the Jesus and believe in him are you look at the his uh, death and the resurrection and uh, 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 you know the, the eternal life that, he, that God gave to us and we really should depend on God uh, and our life we should naturally should uh, uh, pray to him but through the prayer he gave us peace and with the power of the Holy Spirit we have a joyful peaceful life and as we live in a righteous life that that become that we become like a salt uh, on the ground and the lights in the, this dark world that we glorify God's uh, we glorify God in this world and that's exactly what the God wants church to do uh, some church is possibly sleeping right now and but because we don't we don't look we don't watch Jesus uh, instead of uh, we watch our own strength and our own life uh, you know that's that's kind of a kind of sad that Jesus said that uh, you know watch me while he was in a Gethsemane his his heart was so crushed like uh, that's a place to crush the olive oil to uh, squeeze the oil like that his heart was so crushed at the Gethsemane but then he asked disciple to pray with him be with him and watch him but. Uh, disciples so way too confident. At the end, instead of uh, disciple watching him, uh, they all betrayed 
disciple because their overconfidence uh, uh, made that way. Uh, our willingness is not enough because our will, even how strong we, our will is, our flesh is weak. And we cannot really follow Jesus by our own strengths because we don't have a really good enough strengths to follow Jesus. But uh, depend on G uh, God and trusting God that we can go through the difficulty in our life. And uh, our main focus should be watching uh, Jesus, uh, His death and the resurrection. And uh, pray uh, to God that uh, He's the one going to give us a strength to go through the difficulty. And uh, uh, that is really the foundations of our Christian life. Uh, today's message is uh, Jesus really comparing Him with uh, disciples, even though disciple was a very uh, nice people, but and uh, they are willing to follow Jesus, but they at end all betray Jesus, unfortunately. But here, the key issue is, we. Uh, how about you though? Do you watch Jesus now, uh, especially his death and the resurrection, or you watch your actually uh, depend on your own strengths and go through this life? Uh, if that, please change. Uh, you know, we should really watch Jesus. Uh, especially this time of Easter, we should focus on His death and the resurrection and the power of the resurrection that we trust in. And uh, by that, uh, with the, through the prayer, that God gave us uh, really uh, peace and joy uh, through the Holy, uh, power of the Holy Spirit and with uh, joy and peace and uh, knowing that we have an eternal life will give us a uh, really joyful uh, feeling. And very peaceful feeling and that's what we should remind uh, ourselves that we're saved on this uh, Easter Sunday. Uh, shall we pray together? Lord, thank you for today's message and especially in the Easter Sunday, uh, we should, that's kind of reminder to us that uh, we should look at your life and we should focus on uh, your life and your death and uh, eternal life you gave to us by trusting you uh, instead of we uh, depend on our own strengths and if we do we may have to uh, uh, our flesh is so weak that uh, you know disciple has betrayed Jesus uh, but then uh, we don't want to betray you Lord and the only way we can do it is depend on you instead of uh, our own strengths Lord thank you for teaching us this message today. Just let me pray. Amen. Okay, take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.